What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Kuroko no basket. Uh, before we get into anything, I do want to let you guys know about the mistake I made. I'm sure if you're up to this point in the show, you guys have already seen the mistake I've made. I just want to address it real quick. Um, I thought I was doing episode 13.5, the OVA, but it ended up being 41.5, the OVA, which in terms of timeline, somehow, thankfully, still fit beautifully and I wasn't super spoiled. Um, but on this website that I'm using, because you can't really find these OVAs on Crunchyroll or anything like that, it does list 41.5 as that episode. So that's where everything happened. I just assumed that's what this episode was. It had, it literally is listed under this episode. So I found a different website. It's not the best quality. I will let you guys know. So, uh, but it's the only one I could actually find that was actually, that had this. That's not on like the Blu-ray disc or anything like that that you'd have to buy. So... I appreciate your guys' patience. I appreciate you guys sticking in with me. Speaking of that, my allergies are going tremendously crazy. I already took some allergy meds. So with that being said, if you guys see me sneak off to blow my nose or doing this, that and coughing, my eyes are itchy, all that, my allergies are killing me. So you guys are amazing with your patience. I appreciate you. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching up to four episodes one week ahead on the Patreon. Links are down below like always. Make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Kuroko no Basket. We're doing the OVA and then we're getting into episode 18. So this should be the actual 13.5, which it translates to idiots can't win. So let's do it. All right, so episode 13.5, Idiots Can't Win. Let's do it. And so I'm trying to remember timeline-wise where this takes place. And this is right after we beat Shusoku, right? Right after we beat Midorima. I'm glad I'm watching this not too late, you know? A monkey can't win specifically. I thought it was Idiots Can't Win. I mean, that's what they say. You're a student athlete, you know, student comes first. What would that be? Okay. Okay. So we physically have to pass this proficiency, at least be out of the bottom third. Okay. Yep, we're going to Rico's house. Hi. Us. Something tells me they're going to be like Hinata and Kageyama. Not the brightest. Uh, average. Yeah. Had one nice B in there. The rest from like six, 60s, Ds, you know. This is not a good sign. No. No. This is not a good sign. Yeah, I swear you have to be trying to get a zero. Like, you can't be that bad. What the hell? Okay, Junpei. Okay, Izuki. Yeah, that's seriously impressive. Yeah, if that were the case, Kagami, I would be way smarter than I am. <laughs> but a monkey can't win. That is the title of this episode. So Kisei is also going through it. You hate to see it, man. The grades can be real tough. Oh my god. Midorima makes Takeo go through work. Okay. 
This is not the training arc I was expecting, I won't lie. Okay, Mitobe with the science. Kuroko Japanese. I might be able to teach him English, but that's it. Even I'm horrible at English, you know. <laughs> this is like a literal game plan training sesh. Like, this is crazy. Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> Mollusks. I actually could have gotten that. This man is so out of it and tired. He's about to get hit by a straight truck that would have been super death right how are you gonna how are you gonna do any of that if you can't even make it to the game on saturday you know i love this song when they play it's normally they play it at the beginning of the episode generation of miracles five people that went to take o middle oh while we're showing almine we're getting a little tease of all of them. Oh, there's Levi. Oh, why does he have two different color eyes? Oh, no one's answering Kisei. I feel so bad. My man is going through it. Oh, that's why he's not answering Kisei. He's going to give it to Kagami. Okay. The pencil of the lazy god. Oh. oh. We're talking about putting Kagami through two all-nighters. We can't even put everyone else. You know, it's rough. The struggle out there. Oh, yeah, he's out of here. Kagami prison break time. All right, we got we got Bloodhound Tetsuya. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That man has like 20 of those burgers. Is he at the court? That man is training. Yeah. That, if I had to guess anything that man was doing, that's what my guess would be. Playing some basketball. Okay, he's got his own way of remembering. Okay, King Philip came over from Great Spain. Okay. Everyone has their own method of learning. If he remembers through basketball, Anya was able to remember in Spy Family through the Spy cartoon. Shouts out to your your, your methods, you know. I don't know, right? Wouldn't it be so funny if he studied so much playing basketball that he just started remembering stuff in basketball? Like he's just crossing someone's sign, cosine, tangent, motherfucker. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay. Please turn all cell phones off. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Are we using that lucky pencil that Kuroko gave us? Yeah, I hate that when you have C like five times in a row, but you're confident the sixth one is C, so you're like, that can't be right, you know? Takeo is a savage. Well... Nine, oh, he did it. Let's go. He got 90 on the top 100. Oh, okay. It's that pencil, bro. It's that pencil. 
The man got top 90. <laughs> Shouts out Kagami. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, that that makes sense. I'm not even that stupid. <laughs> no, I would I would feel I feel him. I would feel him. I would be personally disappointed too. That is so funny. God damn, man. God damn it. Well, now I truthfully know why idiots can't win. That was a great, that was a great little OVA. All right, that was episode 13.5. Finally watched the right OVA. Now we're getting into where we were. Episode 18, this one's called No. And we ended off with Aumine being impressed by Kagami's resolve and skill, but then turning it up to a whole nother level. So let's get back into this. How does someone make something like that? I just don't understand at all. Yep. He's like a specialist in Hunter Hunter. He just breaks the, the, the starting foundational rules. You can't apply those to Aumine. That man, everything's out the window when it comes to that man, you know? My man had the handles and the quickness since he was a little jit. Limitless. Impossible to defend against. You can't predict him because he has no set style. The ace of the generation of miracles. <laughs> Oh my god. Talk about a fadeaway. Man is in. That's the thing about them. They have a great defense as well. They're a very well rounded team. That's a valid point while dribbling. While dribbling. And that's a foul. And that's mid-air fouls are so dangerous too. Who knows how he could land. Are you telling me this man got an and one on that? I, I'm I'm literally at a loss for words. Like this guy is literally a cheat code. Not fair. I believe it now, my man. I firmly believe it. <laughs> Oh my god. This show gets me unfathomably hyped. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my. This is just the start of episode 18. God damn with this fucking music. This could end the episode right here and it would fit beautifully. Very, very valid point. Very, very true. He always says it nice and blunt too. Doesn't doesn't always trims the fat, you know.
right past Almina. That's literally what I wanted. Thank the. I thought he was gonna steal it. Thank the Lord. Okay. Good decoy right back to my boy Junpei. And we know he's a bucket from the three. That man be draining him. Come on. You always are like, oh, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, great steal. Been what, like 10 minutes since Kuroko was in the game? They're already used to him not playing, man. Kuroko is a game changer. You can't not hear Yami, Eraserhead, Sukuna when he talks. Oh, I love Almide. How so? I mean, I know we're the exact same as you remember, but doesn't that doesn't mean we've improved? We haven't improved, you know. I firmly believe he thinks we're gonna. Oh, that's why the show was called Kuroko's Basketball. Come on, Almine, not called Almine's Basketball. Ooh. He makes a great point. He makes a great point. You think about it, he literally won v five. He drove through the whole team, literally. Who's Akashi? And we cannot be getting in Kuroko's mental. We're down 30. And then here's another steal. Yeah. Are we going to lose this game? I don't know how we can come back from 30 point deficit. What is it? I hate when they do it that and won't tell us. What is it? I need to know what she saw, though. We know Rico is one of the most observant people we know, let alone coaches, you know? I see. So now his other leg is starting to take a toll. I don't want to be pessimistic, but if we really can't play with Kagami, I think this is it for our championship league run. Sadly. Oh, yeah. In his mind, he truly thinks he can beat all of them. So the fact that he's losing this hard just pisses him off. I get it. I fully get it. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Oh, that's a bar. The chance of a comeback is only 0% when all the players have given up hope. So as long as you don't, it'll never be 0%. That's a bar among bars. I was going to keep going the whole game, man. One bucket at a time, man. Let's do this. I mean, that's something. I like this little montage. The boys working, you know, getting back in. This was a little VHS grain over it, black and white, similar, you know? What's the score after this? This is a dope-ass montage, I won't lie. It just keeps getting smaller and smaller, too. No one gave up. They fought until the very, very end. Yeah. I wasn't expecting us to win, sadly. 
No one cried because we legit gave it our all. Normally, I, I would be a lot more upset than I am right now. But after watching Haikyuu and seeing what a really good loss can do to someone, what it can turn them into, like this, I, you know, we needed this. Not saying that in a bad way. Oh my, oh my God. Yeah, we needed this. Give us 20 something episodes, motherfucker. We'll come back. It's gonna be a whole different ball game. It's a whole different game. That was how it ended. Wow. Oh, wow. God damn. Oh, my Lord. Talk about some episodes. I'm going to address the OVA first because that was just a super fun time. I love those kind of one off side episodes that are just kind of like side quests, kind of like that one we had when we first joined the team, how we had to go get that bread for the uh, second years, you know, and in terms of the proficiency test, I, not only do I like how every sports anime and i say every one well, i only mean this one in haiku that i've seen so far has i love how you know they have to have that part in the actual show itself the whole student athlete aspect because i vividly remember this from high school that i went to we had star captains star students who were horrible in their grades and they were like you are not playing if you don't get your grades up so student athlete that's a real ass thing so i appreciate shows that do that I appreciate Midorima's lucky lazy god Rolly Pencil that clutched out for Kagami. He got top 100, which was insane. And then we come over to episode 18 called No, where I was, I don't get me wrong, I left, I'm leaving currently very happy, very excited. I loved what I saw, but oh my god, did our boys get their asses handed to them. Almine roasted Kuroko like seven times. He's like, I could steal your pass. You're tired. Your boys on the bench. You guys are ass. I'm better than you. You haven't changed since high school, middle school. Like, he's just, oh my God. And then Almine just went ham. Like, I don't know, man. All I got to say is these episodes are fantastic. I'm loving the animation. I'm loving the intensity, the music, the aesthetic, and the artistic choices that they're making, the characters, the resolve. Like, that bar from Kuroko at the end there, I'm going to say that. If I'm playing a Valorant game and it's like 112, the chance of a comeback is only 0% when we make it zero. Other than that, oh, come on, man. If you guys enjoyed this episode, this show, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length up to four episodes. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.